All right then, so the first real and probably most simple component that I want to show you is the button components. Now, if we take a look at the button on the docks, we can see at a glance there's loads of different button styles that we can use and different button sizes too. And we can take advantage of the different theme colors for these buttons as well. They're really easy to set up and they only use a couple of different classes. So let's take a look at a few of them in the code. All right, so like we said, there's loads of variations of buttons we can use. So we're gonna take a look at a few different examples, some basic buttons, some anchor tags as buttons, different sizes, different styles, including the outlined one, and also button groups. So let's start with the basic buttons. So I'm gonna create a button tag like this first of all, and I'll say primary button inside, and I'm gonna give this a class equal to btn now whatever button we create we always give it this base btn class every button has that and then we can customize it further like colorize it so i could say btn hyphen primary to give it a primary color and if i take a look at this now in the browser we can see this primary button right here and notice it automatically changes the text color to white as well when it has a slightly darker background so let's do another example I'm gonna change this to secondary down here and then this to secondary as well and save that, preview this. And now we can see the gray button right here. So we could do that with every different theme color. Let's also have a look at buttons as anchor tags. So this is using the button tag, right? But any tag can have these button classes, including a tags. So I'm gonna say a.btn dot btn hyphen info which is another theme color and the href doesn't have to be anything inside here i'll say info anchor tag and save it and preview that and we can see the anchor tag looks the same but now it uses this information color instead and this time because the background's a little bit lighter it doesn't use the white text it keeps it as a darker black text all right so let's do another example i'm going to say button success for this one and change this to success as well save that and preview and we can see the green button awesome so like i said we can use any different tag as a button as long as we have the button class and whatever other class we want to stylize the button all right so these are all the same size buttons right here but we can make them smaller and also larger so if i say down here button and then give this a class of btn and then also a class of btn hyphen and it's going to be lg for a large button and also btn hyphen danger to stylize this remember danger was a theme color and there i'll say large danger button and i'm going to duplicate this so we can show you a small one so instead of lg right here we have small and when we don't apply a size to it it gets the default medium size, just like these buttons. So this is a larger button. This is a smaller button. And we'll change danger to warning, so it's a different color. And we'll say small and, oops, not the small tag, small warning button. All right, so let's take a look at that. And now we can see we have the large button and the small button. All right then, so let's take a look at the outlined style. So. I'm going to create down here some more buttons. So we'll say button and then dot BTN, which is the base class. Then I'll say BTN hyphen outline and then hyphen whatever color I want it to be. So primary in our case. So that means it's going to be an outline style button and the outline of the button is going to be that primary color. So I'll say outlined primary button. And then let's do another example down here. So instead of primary this time, I'll say secondary. And also I'm gonna make this large because we can apply sizes to these different styles of buttons as well. So BTN hyphen LG. And here I'll say large outlined secondary button. Save that and preview. And now we can see the outline style right here. And when we hover over them, it gives it the background color and changes the text to white, which is nice. Same for this one, but now it's a large button. And we can also do the same for small buttons as well if we want to. 
All right, so the last thing I want to show you is the button groups. And button groups are basically when you've got a series of buttons that belong together. So let me show you an example. I'm going to create a div, first of all, with a class of btn-group. And then all of the buttons that we're grouping together go inside this button group. So I'm going to do anchor tags just for a change. And then I'm going to give this a class of btn and also btn-primary to make it the blue color. And here I'll say in the href just hash. And then as the text, we'll say button one. Then I'm going to duplicate these a couple of times. So button two and button three. So now all of these buttons are inside the button group. And when they're inside the button group, Bootstrap styles the group of buttons a bit differently. So if we save this, we can see now they're all butted up to each other like that, whereas before they have the white space in between them. So that is a button group. Now each of these buttons can also have different colors. So I could change this to warning and I could change this down here to success. That's still going to work and we can see them all butted up to each other still. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of how we can use buttons. Again, we can use them on whichever tags we want. It doesn't have to be a button tag. And we always use this base button class, but then combine it with the different style classes to either colorize it or make it outlined or size it differently, etc. And by the way, I'd always recommend checking out the docs for these components as well, because there's way more examples of buttons and any other component we might use in this series as well than I'm going to show you. So whatever component I might be showing you in this series, there's probably at least 10 other ways that you can use it and customize it. So definitely play around with the different components once you've watched the videos. Next up, though, we're going to take a look at some of Bootstrap 5's utility classes.